Hi, I'm Arnav, one of the founding members at uh, Coding Blocks, which is a software development bootcamp running out of New Delhi. It's a software development bootcamp, and uh, we are helping a lot of people uh, gain skills like web development, machine learning, mobile apps, and uh, like we have uh, programs which are like three month or four month kind of programs, and people come in and they're learning that. Uh, and we have been uh, like uh, pretty successful with a lot of uh, undergrad students who have been able to get like really good job offers. And now it is like uh, a lot of people who are already working are coming in to just upskill or like uh, go from move from one domain to another. So we started off offline and uh, then we have recently like for a year and a half or so we have moved online so a lot of people are uh, just hooking up with our online programs where they are completely doing the whole thing online. Uh, so and that's been scaling up uh, really well now across India because geographically you know, setting up centers it happens slowly but online you can just scale up really fast people get like interested word of mouth publicity they are looking at the success so uh, it's been like three years now and it's growing pretty well me personally I came across DigitalOcean uh, a long long time back uh, when I uh, started uh, using like the GitHub education pack I got some DigitalOcean credits. I set up a droplet and back then even like my personal website and all like they were hosted using one of those sites that give you like free PHP hosting and stuff like that but then I realized that uh, you know setting up a server is actually pretty easy and like SSH into that and it's just like my Ubuntu installation it's like uh, so I mean DevOps and all I was uh, not, kind of alien to back then I was a student in college maybe first year or something like that. Uh, but yeah, DigitalOcean really helped me, you know, get started with the concept that, you know, managing servers is not a big deal. You can just, you know, go on the web interface, click a, a two, two, three buttons, you have a server set up. So that's how I started off with. And then when we started with Coding Blocks and even my last venture before Coding Blocks, so I've been like an advocate of using DigitalOcean a lot because when like uh, our teams, uh, you know, they're growing and new developers coming in, for them also it's pretty easy to understand how the server infrastructure is running. It's like the concept of droplets is VPS, not a lot of things to understand. So yeah, I've been using DigitalOcean for quite a long time. The best part that I like is uh, that uh, there isn't a lot of uh, uh, things to understand to just get started with, like understanding something like say how it, we can get on-demand memory or elasticity, stuff like that. I mean, all those features are there, but uh, just to start off with a server, you don't need to understand a lot of those things. You have a server, you SSH into that, you know you can just git pull your uh, project and just start uh, deploying it. And the API is really good. We made an app uh, which uh, allowed us to just control the droplets uh, from an app itself. We use that internally at Coding Blocks a lot. So the API makes it so easy, like we can just whip out our phone, start a new droplet, copy an existing droplet and we can just scale our server to 2x. Uh, as easily as that. We have been uh, using like uh, two things we have been using a lot uh, online resources for which is one is like our online learning platform where people can uh, consume uh, video based courses they can do like some MCQ based tests online it gets evaluated and they get a like uh, an analysis graph that which parts they covered well which parts did not cover well so that entire infrastructure is running on DigitalOcean and uh, an even more part of a uh, bigger in part of the infrastructure which is basically how uh, these evaluations actually take place so somebody writes their code it gets like uh, it goes to the server and uh, vm starts and on that the code gets uh, compiled and there are some test cases so if the code has been correctly written the test cases pass and the student gets back uh, those answers so this entire ecosystem is running on digitalocean with the help of kubernetes so like Sometimes we have contests running on with like three, four colleges and there are 200, 300 students from each college and they are all simultaneously online and they submit a lot of test cases like that. So we have like 2,000, 3,000 RPM requests going in and each of those requests are basically uh, a source code which has to be compiled, uh, it has to be run on a lot of test cases and the answers have to come back. So this thing needs like automatic scaling, like when these requests all come in, we just need to be able to scale up a lot of nodes, run these and then once it's done, we just need to scale back down. So that is something that DigitalOcean uh, has helped us a lot with. Uh, we use this. I have a really nice anecdote. Is, so what we do is uh, when we uh, teach our web development or uh, backend related courses where uh, like people are learning how to build web apps using Node.js or Python or something like that. So uh, by the end of the course, we just teach them how to deploy their solutions and we teach them 
uh, all the providers, not just DigitalOcean. We teach them how to push it on GitHub pages or uh, even Amazon, Google, everybody. It's not just DigitalOcean specifically. But uh, I have seen that uh, close to 90% of the people, when we just ask them to submit their projects, they have usually, like if it's just a front-end project, they have set it up on GitHub pages. If there's a back-end involved, they have done it using DigitalOcean. So I think that's definitely a proof that even for people who are just learning to develop web applications, like the uh, attendees who are coming to our programs, for them also it's like really easy to set, set that up because, I mean, we just teach them all the platforms, they just end up using DigitalOcean. I think that's uh, definitely really nice.